Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bring them out. Do you like the cord, I wonder, or do you got to bring out the dead? Bring out your fucking dead. Okay. Actually, I should keep that there, so I keep that around my neck. I can lick it. Lick it good. Dum, 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 dum. And if you don't know what that's all about, the new rage now for dispelling radioactive contaminants. Hang on. Is no less than. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, Dana Fonny friggin' lost it. <laughs> Well, she lost it first when she was licking her iPhone charger. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I was reading the story over on... Hey, Toby. I was reading the story. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta get a few more laughs out of you yet. There's some good jokes over at E and E News. I had no idea there was a bunch of nasties licking their iPhone chargers. You never heard of licking your iPhone charger? What the fuck is wrong with you? What kind of racist, bigoted, prejudiced statement is that? This one says, I don't own a cell phone. What does that come out into bananas? I don't know, you gotta lick them all the time. Lick them, God, lick, lick your iPhone charger. Bring out your fucking dead. Hang on. <laughs> Licking their iPhone charger. Bring out your dick. How kinky is that shit? Another one said, they probably hang on the noose until they're dead. Bring out your dead. Then they lick their chargers. <laughs> Just don't get caught licking the other dude's charger. Bring out your friggin' dead. There you go. Uh, reminds me of Homer Simpson licking those poisonous frogs to get high. Hey, bring out your friggin' dead. <laughs> There's a few clips that are going to come back and haunt me, I bet you. <laughs> licking up your... This goes out to all the employees at Whip. You guys are something else. I don't know where you come up with that one. I guess you can't use bananas walking in sunshine anymore. <laughs> The hounds of Fukushima are all over your asses now. Actually, I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to lick my iPhone charger. Because Whip said it's cool. It's cool. It's a new trend. Everybody got to do it. You got to do it once. You got to pick it up and lick it. Lick your iPhone. Lick your iPhone charger. Lick it. Lick it good. <laughs> and the wild man is loose again. Welcome back to the show, everybody. It's been a long time. I missed all you the whole weekend. And so I'm probably going to do that every weekend. Because that was pretty cool. It was like I had this longing ever since. And I was like, oh, man. Yeah, my tongue is glowing. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Frill. <laughs> Ooh, piano Precious. Lucky Krager, Cap, S. Maroney, Kate, Missing Sky, just passing through. If, <laughs> if your tongue will stretch across your card battery, you pee your pants. <laughs> Dana. Yep. Uh, hi, Jed. Catch alive, Janet. Albert, DC, loves being Sergeant, Kathleen, Angela. Man, she get a little hello over everybody that time. This is one of the few times when I wish Google fucked up. But no, that's, there it is. I can see the video has actually gone out there. I'm gonna sh I'll pay for that one now. <laughs> I'll pay for that forever. I'm <laughs> just going to leave that there. Because it's the wrong thing to do, right? Hey, that's how I roll. That's how I roll. I lick up phone charger. Ha, ha, ha. That's what I do. So I got to get that clip now and put it in with her clip. <laughs> well, you know, I spent all day taking all the boot lickers, the iPhone pod lickers, and I've been chopping those clips up. 
that I've collected over the last few months. And so I got a whole folder full of bananas and background radiation from drinking water, background radiation from walking in the sunshine, and background radiation from x-rays, and background radiation from potatoes, and background fucking radiation from every fucking thing out there, but the radiation itself. You can have radio radioactive fallout everywhere but where you're told or wherever it's reported on or wherever it happened. You can have radiation fallout somewhere else, but you can't have it where it's happening. That's what we've come to discover now, 100%. And, oh, I skipped. Hang on. All right, I'm almost back in the mental state here now. I don't know, as long as this thing is hanging out on that one, it's going to be hard for me to concentrate. <laughs> Diver dude, no way. Standing foot, cap red. John Townsend, pet lovers. I'm just saying hi to everybody. Anybody know what I'm doing? This is a live stream every night. We've been streaming for a hundred and something days. Streaming for an hour. Screaming for an hour. And I say hi to people because I read their comments each night. Hi, Missing Sky. You'll find links down below to lots of people. You'll find them in the comment section. Steve Meyer is out there working hard. Hi, Jana. Um, Janet. Yeah, I'm losing it. Thank you. I was hoping nobody was going to know this, but back to the acting classes, I guess. Hi, Matt from Quebec. Tom Freener. Hi, Tom. Just joining in the rest. Okay, look, the, you know, Fukushima is like a concentration camp for the homeless. Is there anybody on the planet that's going to disagree with that one? Is there anybody out there that say, no, Dana, I'm not quite on, you know, I'm still on the fence here on that one. They're not actually trying to kill all the homeless. They're trying to just radiate them because radiation might mutate them a little bit and they'll be better and they won't be homeless no more. Is that how that works? They'll grow a bed out of their fucking rib cage or something. Is that how that works? Uh, you eat a lot of bananas, Jib. That's, that's just like black magic, man. You probably got one hanging around your neck like now. But not like my iPhone charger. Oh, oh, oh. All right, phone charger. Hi, basic data. Hi, loner. Stinson. I think she made a mistake last night. I think you're supposed to suck. I pretend that uh, it's like the bit from a horse. That's what she she was talking about. And w in her case, there's usually like a ball there. <laughs> but what a twisted lady that one is. The rest of them are just as bad. See, background radiation, 7,000 becquels for drinking water. If you had that, a plutonium, you'll get fucked up, okay? That will fuck you up till the end of time. You'll have leukemia in no time. They ain't going anywhere. If they cremate you, you liberate, after you die, they would liberate those isotopes or radioactive particles or radioactive atoms. And like uh, Radchik, Christina Consolo was saying, you know, even uh, battery acid is not going to decontaminate something. You got to think about what a, what a radioactive isotope is and why they were billing uh, sarcophagus to try to contain it for a million years. It's because it's crazy and it should never be in our environment. It's it's man-made. It doesn't go away in humanity's lifetime. But now it's really uh, you know unleashed upon this planet. <coughs> okay, I had your own toxic. <laughs> ha Yeah, we'll keep that. To, hang on, I'll bring it up a little bit higher. Oh, 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 that is a cool iPhone charger. I like the way, I'm going to put it on this side so you folks don't, can see it a little bit better. And see, even Zoe's not even a snore, I'll let her lick it later. She put, she never even, she's not even snoring like she normally does because she feels comfort because I got my iPhone charger. And if anybody don't know what it's about, uh, I can't believe you're still here. But let me explain it to you, because nine minutes, you're just like, what the fuck is going on in that video? A whip spokesperson in Carlsbad, New Mexico, two days ago at a town meeting in front of everybody equated you would get more radiation from licking the, old, the iPhone charger than you would from radiation from Carlsbad, New Mexico. 
uh, nuclear waste or nuclear waste containment facility that's a half mile underground because it's not very harmful and she equated that as radiation so you can't do that because like there is potassium 40 in the charger itself right some parts of it will have some potassium 40 in it so figuratively speaking this is how they do it all the time where they use a banana walking in the sunshine and everything else which is insignificant normal indigenous background radiation that if you eat a banana with 12 becquels of potassium 40 you off gas if you drink a glass of water with 7,000 becquels or 90,000 for some extreme places where it's legal but it's still not you know it's not a radioactive man-made atom or particle or isotope that was ionized right we're talking about ionized and it's very dangerous and it's supposed to be locked up never released into our environment and so you know they had a truck fire on the fifth or the sixth and they couldn't go back in there because they had a truck fire do you got any idea how stupid that statement is and then on february the 14th on valentine's day and i kind of got off track i'll get back on track here in a second i just want to make sure everybody understands i'm not totally crazy a little and that they couldn't get back down into the mine from the 5th to the 14th because it was a truck fire and because truck fires are so fucking dangerous and so then they admitted but they said this was no that they had some kind of a leak down there and they blamed it on several different things all the way up to now and even now they're still trying to blame it on everything else but there's no cameras to show us anything for some strange reason even though the fire allegedly has been out for quite a long time and mama Knox has that video up on her site that i use over and over and was in that one i put up earlier the last one yeah, about the iphone it's so important because that was the radioactive fallout coming out and see if they told people at that time there was a radioactive fallout just like in fukushima then people would have been looking for it right and so let me jump back onto track because I wasn't supposed to go down that friggin' path tonight, but there it is, and I done it. Too late now, so me. But the headline that I uh, Deborah sent me, I can't pronounce your last name because I can't remember that top of my head, but everybody knows Debbie Deborah. Unskilled and destitute are hiring targets for Fukushima cleanup. New York Times. Now at the same time as that was happening. I was filling up a folder for the for my presentation for my documentary about Fukushima of how the homeless are being exploited down there. And so I'll share some of that, not all of it, because I got so friggin' much of it there, but I'm gonna share some of that with you in comparison with this story. But this story was uh, yesterday out of work. Nowhere to live. Nowhere to go, nothing to eat. You think they'd be saying, come on down to the Salvation Army. Hell no, you'd be wrong. Dear, come on to Fukushima. <laughs> we don't bring out our dick because they're nuclear waste. <laughs> don't use that. That'll get me in trouble. I keep doing shit like that. This grim posting targeting the destitute, and they got a picture. Uh, once again, unskilled and destitute are hiring targets, and I didn't put the link below. Oh, oh, oh. Such, I'm just, I don't stop. And you got a picture of the homeless getting on a bus to go to Fukushima. Right? And they're reusing masks down there, for goodness sakes. So as soon as the worker picks it up, they're getting radiation. Right? Bad radiation. They're exposed to radiation everywhere they go. You have to de- you, you can't decontaminate the rooms. You come into a room and you take your stuff off to the lunchroom at <laughs> Fukushima when the camera's not around. And you you take that stuff off, right? Wherever you're going, then that room is contaminated. So even the cleaners that are coming in after and cleaning up the places are getting contaminated. They're bringing that contaminant home to their families if they got it homes just the people that worked there the site was detonated with um, 
And just hang on a second. We got toe tangs running, and not the one we're supposed to. Where the hell did that photo go? Just that, that. Oh yeah, sorry. A folder in a folder. Ha <laughs> ha! Fool me. Forbes, this is outrageous. Homeless people are being sold to companies and putting to work on Fukushima radiation. This, this is all E and E news uh, that links over to the main stories. How, how did that become bad? How did that become so wrong? How did that become a reason to demonize somebody? Isn't that what every fucking site out there does? They just aggregate everybody else's shit. And I mean, government-funded shelters supplying gangsters with workers. Now, think about TEPCO. Everybody says, well, TEPCO's a corporation, corporate personal, but we keep forgetting to mention 50% of TEPCO is owned by the government. And so it's easy to dismiss it when you say it that way. So the better way to say it is 50% of TEPCO is owned by the Japanese people. Because they are, they are, the government is Japanese people. Well, it was. But in no, most scenarios, that's what, that's what they're supposed to be, right? The government is a reflection of you. Well, that's not a very good reflection of the Japanese people. How the hell, how the hell did you get to this stage where the entire country is polluted and then you're taking the homeless and put them to work and say they're out there cleaning up contaminated areas then the homeless are grinding it all up also and then they're bringing it into the incinerators in different communities and burning it and liberating it back into the communities. And so extraordinarily high, unimaginably high stuff that if they were to dig a, a hole in the mountain and at least you know, temporarily store it in somewhere like that, there's not such thing as temporary, but that would be a way better, you know. They should have just sectioned off a small part of Japan and moved everything down there. But to spread it out all over the country, to exterminate the country, that's why they're able to take the homeless and do what they're doing to them. Student letter in Japan, cynical disregard for human life, risking a bleak future for this radiation contaminated nation. I should keep bringing out your dead. And that's what's going on down there. The homeless are taken to work in Fukushima, ready to die, says the pastor. At the end of the month, they're left with no pay. They end up in debt to their employers after food and housing fees are deducted, right? And so just doing something like that is morbid. You know, ringing that thing when I was talking about it. Not that that really mattered, see? What mattered was that headline. But the fact that I was, you know, adding something in on that made it that much more morbid, if that's possible. Homeless, and that's what I mean by using music and stuff like this, you could, you could be surprised what you could do with some of the clips that I got there and put music with it and a few pictures with it and stick it out there in different languages and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so music is a very powerful thing. That's what the documentary, I'm going to say that because I'm gathering up music for documentary. I'm writing most of it. Homeless to take in the work in Fukushima ready to die. How the hell did we get to this stage? When that's who we're going to put in charge of the most dangerous job on the planet. That's who we're going to entrust with the most important job on the planet, with the most vital job imaginable with the most dangerous technically you know what's going on here you can't just allow that to happen that the most important thing on the planet they sent in 600,000 soldiers to Chernobyl one of the reactors at Fukushima are three times the size as Chernobyl with a 100% meltdown in Fukushima and 30% in Chernobyl. And they sent in 600,000 soldiers who got medals. And we're sending in the homeless. And then lying and manipulating and using bananas and everything else in the equation. Like you're killing us and then you insult us at the same time. Well, you're murdering your own children and your own friends, your own families, your communities. 
because you don't get to see them all die at one time in one spot you think that it doesn't happen you think it's not real you think that why do you have to put all that stuff down a half mile on the ground if it's not harmful why do you get all those sophisticated technology there if it's not harmful why is there all the hoo-ha about it why are all the cancers showing up in Japan if it's not harmful why is six out of ten children tested got diabetes all of a sudden if it's not harmful you know if you're going to treat it that way like it's an iPhone or a banana or rocking in sunshine or an x-ray like you're ingesting a radioactive hot particle it sequesters in your organs and your bones in the marrow uh, <coughs> it creates just living in low level radiated areas where you're not actually ingesting radioactive isotopes or buckyballs and think about um, go look up the Andromeda right the uh, what year was that one? The most recent one, anyway. And they talk about buckyballs with 60 sides. That's very interesting. And what they described as a weapon from another galaxy, right, that, that was attacking humanity, and they found a fly on it. But that was quite the interesting ride today to see that. Where the hell did my string go? Bring out your dead! Did you get too much to cut me off, I wonder? I thought it was gonna go. But because we're talking about such a bizarre story, uh, the New York Times, March the 16th, 2014, uh, homeless people boarding a bus to take them to the deranged nuclear plant, a damaged nuclear plant. The workers are housed in a village where they said there was little to do. Because you're afraid to go out the fucking door. Out of work. Got nowhere to live. Nowhere to fucking go. Nothing to fucking eat. <laughs> we got a job for you. You're going to like it. You've never seen nothing like it before. You'll get the experience of a ride of a lifetime. You can tell your grandchildren. <laughs> Weak. That grim posting targeting the destitute by a company sinking laborers for the ravaged Fukushima military industrial complexes, the Achi nuclear power plant that makes directed energy weapon isotopes. Think about a nuclear power plant is not there making fucking power. That's a byproduct of making directed energy weapons isotopes. You can't have lasers and directed energy weapons without your fucking exotic isotopes. Blah, you've all heard it many times. I don't shut up sometimes. Blah. The plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, known as TEPCO. TEPCO. Uh, TEPCO. I love it. <laughs> I like that. I fall. Like that nasty fucker. Oh, man, it's going to get me in trouble. The plant's operator, Tepco, which is half of Japanese. Just, just, just Japanese. The Japanese people owns 50 fucking percent of it. Take back your fucking country. Take back your power company, anyway. You own 50 fucking percent of it. Jeez, I'm swearing all night, a lot tonight. Might as well smoke if I'm going to go down that fucking road. Look, I've been doing... I'll tell you what I'm swearing. Homeless are taking to work in Fukushima, ready to die. They got no escape. They know that. They can't run away. They're homeless. Mentally disabled are working at Fukushima. Homeless treated like disposable people. Official, for the first time, admit to the shortage of workers at Fukushima. October 29, 2013. Modern slavery. In Japan, nuclear industry. Fucked up shit, okay? Wall Street Journal. Homeless are taking to work in Fukushima. UN official. Book. Mentally handicapped working at Fukushima plant after meltdown. Often given worse radiation suits than regular employees. Heartless fucking monsters. CNN. This is a really interesting one. Outrage as animal carcasses 
litter regions around Fukushima plant. Shameful. Like animals are friggin' dying all over the place there and have been for a long time. They don't mention that part. No, buddy, fucking die of Fukushima, Dana. Don't get me started on that one. I got your messages, you dummies. Nuclear workers stripped naked. Workers, with a S. Stripped naked. E-R-S. Stripped naked, soaked in sweat, gasping for air. My teeth started breaking off. Now, I, I read a lot of articles after this of people, before they shut down the internet, had internet blackout, October 25th, 2013, quite a long time before that. After this all happened, looking for information, well, it was all tsunami coming out, too. It was hard to gather up. And uh, I remember I got a dear of a number of women that had done YouTube videos where their nails came out and their fucking teeth came out and their hair was falling out in Fukushima Prefecture. These cigarettes don't have 4,000 chemicals. So look for cigarettes with no chemicals, folks, because that's the trick. And they're allowed to have 4,000 chemicals in a cigarette. Don't get the ones with the filters because they make the particles smaller to get through the learners of your lungs. But you're allowed to have 4,000 chemicals in a cigarette because your loving government, the EPA, grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals when they were created and hung their shingle in 1981 to fuck you over. Uh, they grandfathered in with no environmental human impact studies. And these buggers don't got no... They ain't got no chemicals that we know about. But who fucking knows? They're probably GMO. But this creeps me out anyway. Nuclear slaves of Fukushima. Workers have debts to pay off. Forced to stay as indentured servants. Foreign workers may soon be needed at the plant. They'll be fucking Shanghai and people till the end of time. Because they, they, they won't allow the real... They got all those universities down there, right? And they're all there making shit to fuck you over. Instead, they should be making, working on peer review academic studies to solve these issues, to stop the, the sacrificial, this, you know, there's more oil out there than there is a human homeless to throw in on the bowels of hell. You can't just keep doing that. How long is that gonna last for? Then what? Then they're gonna run away? You don't think the entire planet is is working this out? Is going to figure this out? Is snapping out of it? Of course they are, right? The nuclear industry is dead. They're going to keep coming out and apologizing and licking their fucking iPhone chargers. Right? Look very closely at the iPhone. Your eyes are growing very, 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 very sleepy. That's what our uh, doctor does every fucking Friday afternoon. He holds an iPhone charger up. Hey, shithead, he says. Here you go, shithead. Look at the iPhone charger, shithead. Pretend you're licking that iPhone, then you know what he does. <laughs> Damn it. That'll get me. <laughs> I got what's watch weird. The old mind scatters sometimes. Foreign workers may soon be needed at the plant. Bring them in. We want them. Send us to Kamikaze fucking workers. Send them down. We'll hook them up. We'll hook them up. Cold sandwiches and a floor to sleep on. Just cost a paycheck a week. Police make arrest over cleanup workers at Fukushima Diachi. Crime syndicate. Yeah, I wonder who that could be. Allegedly participated in containment work for the damaged facility. And it came out that they had around 140 contractors were kuzus. Kuzas. I call them kuzus. Probably got a hit out on me now for that one. You got fucked up already? Right I'll string you up, boy. Telegraph. TEPCO raised the safe radiation exposure limits at Fukushima plant. <laughs> so the government, not TEPCO. They don't fucking do fuck all without asking the NRC first. Well, the government, and the government tells TEPCO, shit goes down the ladder. 500 times original level. And they give them dosimeters. I can only read what was read. Uh, uh, Christina Consolo was saying in the video I put up yesterday. That was a great video. That was awesome. Like, it's, 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 you got to remember, and I don't think I put it there, actually, I think it was that. That 
not all of that made it out on the air. Oops. And, but it shows you, you know, you're, you you got to really be strategic in what you're saying to get it out on the air. They're going to censor it anyway. And you can see the lead up was fucking boyish, right? And then here's Christine trying to do damage control. And she'll do the same thing on Fox or CNN or wherever she can get her ass up on to because that's the morally responsible thing to friggin' do is use every platform out there to reach out to the dummies that are glued to it, right? You can't demonize somebody because they got up and fucking rush your TV. I've seen people do that. I don't know, you're lashing out at Russia, but think about what you're friggin' doing. Don't discourage people from getting up there and telling the fucking truth. That's the channels you want to tell the truth on. And right, you can see the way they started off that stream, right? Russia introduces it, oh, 300 tons leaked out of a tank. No, it's leaking out of the fucking place every day. Day in, day out. And so, like, that'll rattle you when you're dealing with that. You don't even know what you're going to say anymore. Trust me. Because you're in a spot where you want to get something out there. So it was fucking brilliant. It was awesome. I was going to mess with it, put a bunch of pictures in. I was like, nah, I need that there for a specific reason like it is. Because it tells a lot, right? Anybody that knows what they're looking at gets it. And that's important that we have that kind of stuff here. It was like, okay, Dana. Tefco raised the safe radiation exposure limits of Fukushima plant over 500 times. 500 times. Fuck you. Fuck you. We're going to raise it 500 times and fucking kidnap homeless. Put ads in papers. Want a fucking job? They got a job for you. Hoo, hoo, hoo. They're off to join the shithead land. Out of work, nowhere to live, nowhere to go, nothing to eat. These fuckers are out there looking for you and your loved ones that are vulnerable. They see an Alzheimer's patient going down the road with the fucking nursing outfit on. They'll snatch him up and drag him in there. Make no mistake about it. Freaking creatures. Gotta watch out. I'm smoking now. Licking iPhone chargers, smoking, cursing. He's got the devil in him. That's what he's got. He's got the devil in his ass. He's smoking and licking up phone chargers. Yeah, I'll never leave this one down. And I'm all right. <laughs> he's going to manipulate that one. I'm old here. Uh, whatever. 180 counts to 100,000 counts a minute. That's pretty fucking good of them. That's why we like Tepco, because they don't fuck around. They went from 180 counts a minute to 100,000. Ah, you'll be fucking fine, boy. Don't worry. <laughs> Do they uh, radiate check anybody at the graveyard or at the crematoriums? They're fucking contaminated, too, but... Is there, like, a... What do they do? Do they dump the bodies in the water or something? Or do they drop them in the hole in the ground because everything else is contaminated? Oh, man. And then they report it from 180 counts per minute to 100,000 counts per minute is raising a 2.5 fold. So, wow. Whew. Homeless people are being sold to companies and put to work at Fukushima. They're being snatched. It's just freaking, it's demented. It's the most demented thing imaginable. Oh. My picture here is probably the most demented. What the hell is this on? Oh, that's a folder. <laughs> Do you know? Now I looked at the, oh, well, I'll take it a few more times and I'll be okay. Let me get down to business here. I know. Fuck no. At the same time, the company is pouring its resources into another plant. Kashiwazaki Karagwa K-A-S-H-I-W-A-Z-A-K-I and K-A-R-I-W-A that it hopes to restart this year as part of the government's push to restart another plant. Bring out your friggin' dead. I won't do that every night, folks. Sorry. It's one of those nights where I'm um, Giggity, 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 kind of. I shouldn't. Giggity, 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 giggity. 
shift. The shift in attention is translated into the jobs of Fukushima to pay less and are more sporadic, chasing away qualified workers. <laughs> don't say you got. Don't say that's going to chase them away. I say there's other shit that's chasing them away. And left behind is laborers and homeless, mentally retarded, and people that don't speak the language, don't know what the fuck they're doing, can't read or write. Ambulance is going in there ten times a day. Because everything is fine, Dana. Got it all under control, Dana. Yeah, I killed almost all the homeless down there. We got her, Dana. We were stuffing them in the holes, Dana, so it didn't leak into the ocean. You can still see their feet sticking out of the holes, Dana. In the worst case scenario, <laughs> experts fear struggling, work, struggling workers could trigger a bigger spill. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is going to get me fucked. In the worst case scenario, experts fear struggling. I gotta calm it down a bit. Struggling workers could trigger a bigger spill or another radiation release. I can't control it anymore. Have you people lost your freaking mind? Uh, there is a crisis of manpower. We are forced to do more with less. Yeah, because they're homeless. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They can't even friggin' read, dude. They can't even read. And then, then, then you got dummies out there licking friggin' iPhone chargers and saying it's like less than background radiation. You can't have fucking less. Look, if, if when they say background radiation and a leak from a power plant, they're not talking about potassium-40 when they say it's equal to background radiation. They're saying the leak is equal to the background radiation. So it was 7,000 Beckwells in a glass of fucking rainwater. We've seen it down off um, California from Fukushima, you know, at, uh, what was it, 20 million radioactive particles in a liter of rainwater that accumulates. And you've seen all that smoke in that video I put out, right, from that video from Mamanoxus. So, and there's a link below that to her video, and that's from the local Carlsbad paper stamp on it. That's from their site, the local paper. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but that's really truly important because you never went down in the pit after two miles or a half a mile down because it's just normal insignificant background. Unless it's like an iPhone charger, so we're going to put a two a half a mile underground. <laughs> So, I mean, come on, right? We're not exactly uh, stupid yet. And, you know, E&E &E News had to watch that horrible, that was horrible presentation. They'd done that the whole way through, that kind of nonsense. And that was horrible to listen to. They always do that now. If they have a town hall meeting, the government's recording, and they'll put it up on YouTube for you. It's like, squee the entire freaking time. Like, you know, you got to love E&E &E News. We're, we're literally the bastard children of E&E &E News anyway. That's, that's all we really are. That's your start, right? You go over to E&E &E News, type in your subject, go to the bottom of the page, and you'll see like four pages of that subject. Say it's plutonium. And then you might see plutonium, you're probably going to see 50. And click on last page. And scroll down to the bottom of that one, and then come back up the page slowly, and then read each one of those stories, and then go back down the page, and go to the second last page, right, and work your way backwards up to now, so you can understand your subject. So type in uh, 137, or type in 238, or type in 235, or just type in uranium. Right? And go to the bottom page, go to the last page, and then work your way back and get yourself educated. And you can see it from the day it happened and follow it all the way up to present as the headlines came out. What's so freaking bad about that? How is that such a bad thing? And you can do that with most nuclear accidents on the planet. If it was out there and they found it, they aggregated it. What's so wrong with that? How is that wrong? It's not. It's very cool. That's very cool. They got it all sitting right there. And that's, that's your gate 
way out from there, right? Because you can take a subject and dissect the shit out of it. Just become an expert in that one friggin' feel only. And you'll get all the crazies in there. You'll get the Ken Buslers in there and the Jay Collins in there. You'll get all the madmen in there too. They put it all in there. And you got to shift through it. But then you got to go out and learn about each of those subjects. And homeless is not in the equation of E equals MC squared. How easy is it for a bunch of Al-Qaeda to just pour some booze over them, dress up in some raggedy clothes, and sit there on a park bench and wait to get picked up and fill up their pockets? Or they could just go down and find some ammunition Americans left down there because that's all uranium-238. All dirty bombs you fired in Iraq and Afghanistan. 2.5 million dirty bombs from McAllister's bomb manufacturing facility in Oklahoma, McAllister, Oklahoma. Yeah, we got a good old little community here. We make dirty bombs and send them down to other people's countries. <laughs> We're proud of our football team. Tell you what, we got ourselves a little club. We go shoot pool at and we dance with each other. And then we go back next morning to make more dirty bombs. We're like a dirty bomb factory. And we got us a union, and so we okay. We don't mind, because Al-Qaeda, he might use dirty bombs against us someday, so why not get him first? After all, my kid needs braces. And I got a nice house. And those fuckers don't got nothing left, because we make the best dirty bombs on the planet. Well, after Russia and China and Israel and all the other creatures out there that are playing around with this technology. But the Americans fired 2.5 million rounds of dirty bombs a month and 2.5 million rounds of who knows what the fuck, but over 5 million rounds a month after month after month to get 11,000 Taliban. And the homeless in Fukushima are the new Taliban, and they're bringing them down, and they're irradiating them till they're fucking garbage, and then they're disposable. They just throw them away. They're robbing them the entire time. It's the most despicable, cold-hearted, uh, cowardly thing imaginable. Russia gave 600 soldiers medals. So one soldier from Russia has more balls than all the soldiers in Japan put together. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Ha! Put put it in your... Grab your chargers and lick them! Grab, lick, lick your chargers! It'll all be okay. Just smile. Don't forget to smile. All right, there was a Japanese professor from the nuclear industry giving a lecture saying, it'll be okay. All you gotta do is smile. And the radiation can't hurt you. I'm not kidding you either. He's actually, people got footage of that, uploaded it. They uploaded it to YouTube because that was the right thing to fucking do because he's a dummy like the iPhone. I get carried away sometimes, don't I? Bit of a hard case sometimes. Because I don't know what to do with Fran Williams. I don't know what to fucking say to somebody that friggin' stupid. How do you even tie your own fucking shows when you wake up in the morning? Is anybody's fucking guess? How do you feed yourself? How do you fucking dress yourself, Fran? How? I'm sorry, Zoe. Dana, stop being a dick. Yeah, I'm still there. Okay, folks. <laughs> Hi, Sergeant. Nuts for Art. Pam. Kurtzer. Missing Sky. We're live streaming live in uh, British Columbia. Wasteland. Buckyball City. Sergeant York. Alberts. Standing Foot. We stream every night at around weekday nights now at around 7 o'clock Pacific. Thereabouts. You'll see it in my events. Look under my uploads. You'll see under my videos. There's enough links to keep you busy till the next show. If you've never been here before, there's all kinds of people there to keep you busy for a fucking year. You can download them and go down to Fukushima and get a job. I don't recommend that, but you could, because they're freaking desperate. 
They're killing everything down there. So, like, can I ever trust a Japanese neighbor anymore? No, I don't know. They could be investing in companies that are taking homeless and killing them. How can I deal? How can I ever deal with a Japanese company again? How can I buy anything from Japan again? Right? I can't. You don't know what's how contaminated it's going to be. They got no respect for their own country. Their entire country, from one end to the other, is radiation. You know, today is St. Patrick's Day. And think about that for one second, where they put this dye in the river, and it goes for a long way, but then it dissipates. But just imagine that if every minute, 1,440 minutes a day, they kept dumping dye in St. Patrick's River. They just didn't stop. And they went and done it for three fucking years, all the time. Every minute, a truckload of dye just dumped it in the river. 1,440 minutes a day, as fast as they can go. Just back hose dumping it in the river. And three years later, you got in the helicopter and you went down river. How far down do you think St. Patrick's Day Dog was going to go? Do you think it would just dissipate a few miles down the road after three years pouring dog in the ocean? No. Or in the river? Well, it's the same thing that's going on with the ocean. The ocean doesn't get a chance to get in behind it because the plume doesn't stop coming out. And so when the plume reaches it, it's solid plume behind it. It just never stopped coming out of there. If you got, you know, if you put food coloring in a glass of water, it doesn't take long to fill it up, right? But if you took food coloring and put it in your bathtub, at some point you would fill it up. But if you were doing it every day, nonstop, every minute, truckloads and truckloads, 300 tons a dye a day going into the river, 300 tons, let's use that one, that's a better one, I gotta lick my iPhone charger first, I'm like, uh, just because I'm nervous now, it's like, it's like a pacifier, we should make uh, iPhone pacifiers for chi for kids, that'd be a big one, that'd probably be a winner there, probably make a lot of money off that shit, oh yeah baby, I, iPhone charger pacifiers for rave parties, and, <laughs> Jesus, Woo! Hi, Sergeant. Checks and balances reran. Uh, Daymok, basic data. A little black helicopter's over my house. Hang on, means always gonna get under the table and hide the fucking way. A lot of helicopters lately. I don't give a fuck. But we don't normally get helicopters. Mickey Schmidt, everybody. Mr. Schmidt. I was trying to use an accent that time, it didn't come out very good. Nuts for art. How's it going, bud? You, um, guy spider. Happily day, Dana. Standing foot. I see. I probably missed everybody that time. Albert, Stacy Lane. Thank you, Stacy. You're. Um, let me run over there and check that out. Hang on. Oh, oh. Google wants me to fucking sign in again. That's gonna happen over here now. No. No, and I didn't get to sign in. Look at that. Dirty bastard. Won't let me sign in. I'll probably disappear over there now. Don't talk about cell phone chargers. <laughs> we'll make you sign in again, Dana. Fuck you, Dana. How dare you pick on, on, on important people. It's getting a pension by murdering people, by lying to them. By saying that the radiation is like a fucking cell phone. You got any idea how truly stupid that statement is? Fran Williams, a technical advisor for URS. I'm back and forth and all over the fucking place tonight. Unskilled workers for the New York Times. Unskilled and destitute are hiring targets for Fukushima cleanup. Just let me hit that one more time. Out of work, got nowhere to live. They got nowhere to fucking go. Nothing to eat. We're looking for you. Come on down, Fukushima. Woo! We need we need like a wheel of radiation, a wheel of fortune radiation. You know, where you spin the wheel and see what they're going to use today. Is it going to be a cell phone charger? Oh, or a banana, or a potato, radiation from potato, or radiation, spin that wheel, radiation from a glass of water. <laughs> Banana, it's a banana tonight, guys. Let's give a press conference. Banana, haha, <laughs> I know it. Haven't seen you for like a week. 
Maniac. I'm freaking making one now. I'm jealous Dana came up with that. I'm jealous I came up with that. Me. Not me. Right, that makes as much sense as Tevco using homeless to go to work and the most dangerous thing imaginable. The most technically dangerous thing imaginable. And the whole world is ready to get there, but they're too busy spending all their money on another nuclear power plant, according to the New York Times yesterday. Thanks to Deborah putting that one out to Debbie. I can't remember, I guess I'll I'm usually really good, but I just, what a strange day trying to get something accomplished because I never stopped all weekend making videos. But, um, all right, that's a good one, James, uh, James uh, Corbett. Now I call him Cold Brett on purpose because uh, Mouse had done that, Ryan. What a dirtbag. What a scumbucket. Oh, I go and eat at the local farm. Did you see the rate numbers for radiation right across the entire country, shithead? And he even got a little clip there of him talking about how they burn it at the incinerators. <laughs> so he thinks his incinerator doesn't do it, but everybody else does, right? So they had a problem there <coughs> where... They got all these homeless people on the site and they're telling them to go do shit and they don't, no one knows what they're really supposed to do. Everybody's running around just doing shit. They're walking around with guard counters. They can't do much, see? Only the big bulldozers went in and plugged everything out of the way. They use remote control bulldozers and big cranes and everything originally. And they're still using that a lot. I mean, they, they need robotics in there. And our government needs to engineer nutrition back into our food. For some reason they allowed the handful of corporations, Sinintec and Monsanto, to engineer all, uh, not all of it, but, see that one makes this hard to say, but 99.77% of the nutrients out of your seven basic food groups. You don't eat 8,500 plants anymore, you eat seven. They're all genetically modified creatures. They're not actually food. And they got no nutrients in them, right? They got no potassium. The six thousand parts per million potassium in the corn is gone. The magnesium is gone. The calcium is gone. The iron is gone. So well, except for trace amounts, right? And just trace particles. I mean, the trace anyway parts per million. But there's an amazing amount of nutrients in with. In normal food and this doesn't have it in there and instead they they kept stuff there that made it grow wide and thick and look healthy and they took everything else away and then they put in five toxins now I always mention the glossophates and the formaldehydes because they're the two easy ones to associate and for people to identify with and very important too and the glossophates don't allow you to uptake nutrients that's, the, that's an issue with these as well known and once again, the EPA grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals, so these monsters can do whatever they want legally. There's no moral uh, part to this, right? And so you got to learn to eat healthy, folks, because everybody got, got a good dose of radiation. You've got to live on a radiated planet. you got to get used to that. But, I mean, we're, if you're under the jet stream, there's a lot more. And because the coastline and the ocean is still hemorrhaging into that ocean at Fukushima, the homeless can't stop that. They're too busy dying. They're too busy trying to understand what happened to them. They're too busy trying to get a hospital to look at them. And too busy dying. Because we don't hold them accountable. Not enough of us. Right? Enough. You need... Like, that's, that's a good start to New York Times. You can't just come out with a friggin' article. you got to be more vocal about that. You've got to get up on TV and you got to really demand it you got to show some emotions you know with the facts it's you know there's a like cable news gets out there and they use emotion with conjectures that's a very powerful thing and they get away with that right but using emotion with fact that's a really fucking powerful thing excuse the language sit up straight
Get your stomach in, get your chest out, Dana, get your chin up. That fucking chin up. If I try to do what everybody tells me I should do. Don't raise your fucking voice, Dana. I swear. Comb your fucking hair, bitch. Why ain't you smiling more? You gotta fucking smile more, Dana. Someday I will be everybody's perfect person, whatever that is. I know, that'll be the one where I just do audio only. Perfect. No, I got an accent. <laughs> Blew that one. Let me see. Let me give you a couple more moments. Uh, I got a couple of good ones here just before we finish up. We usually do a live stream five days a week, for sure. I can't do seven days a week. I'm too busy. I'm trying, but I just it's just too hard to keep going. It doesn't stop me from making videos, though, so I still enjoy that on the weekend. Say, make videos. And it gives everybody a chance to back off, back down a little bit. And do their own things, because we got a tendency to support each other to the point... You know, it's so important that we have an educated uh, crew of people, right? That's the whole point. And I goof around a lot, I know, but, I mean, we need, we, we educate people just even for a little bit on the, on the very basics that a banana has nothing to do with us. Radiation from Fukushima or from anywhere else. Or that licking an iPhone charger has nothing to do with it. Uh, it's insignificant. It should never be in the conversation. And the people that are doing it should be held to a very high standard that for some reason media gives them a free ride and don't even censor them or edit them and they can come out like Ken Buesler uh, saying it's like a banana or it's like it's equal to the regulation of your drinking water so that's okay no if you've got 7,000 becquels of potassium 40 you can drink it you off gas 7,000 becquels of potassium 40 it's irrelevant but if you ingest 7,000 becquels of the cesium 137 and he was talking about a 134 or uranium 234 or uranium 235 or 238s or all their daughters and there's a few thousand of these or the plutonium 234 238 239 240 241 or the americium 238 239 or the neptuniums that are the common ones we hear about all the time and that are significant and that we look for and that we can identify and we can associate and remember that the stuff from the 50s and the 60s most of that is gone because that's a different radioactive isotope it doesn't last anywhere near as long as these isotopes, right? And they're always trying to put that into that equation, right? And think about how you can feel the building up of bananas or potatoes or ocean water outside the Pacific, and it's irrelevant for radiation. But if you were to take Fukushima material, it's extremely significant. And if you ingest those particles or those atoms or those radioactive isotopes, then you, your body attacks that. And that's, that's the only way you can actually put this in a sarcophagus is your body builds a tumor around it like a sarcophagus. But that's a tumor. And it keeps putting out energy. And if they incinerate you after you die from those tumors, and the more you, uh, you get inside it, the more tumors you get, because you don't eat healthy because you're stuck with this GMO and you can't escape it no matter where you go unless you you seriously know what you're doing so you need to learn that it's as simple as eating organic and getting that into your diet getting that sugar the aspartame anything to do with the GMO there's a video I got back there two hours long it's not very good but it's got two hours of headlines about GMO for you to understand so you can once you understand the basics you're good to go and that you know that's so important. And once again, I think that's a good read. Um, what it was. I lost track of what I was doing. I must have double clicked on the page. Let me go back one page. No, not going to play ball. Unskilled and Destitute. The New York Times. You should look that up and read it. It's a pretty long article. It's worth reading though. Unskilled and Destitute are hiring targets for Fukushima cleanup. That tells you how desperate this is. That tells you how real this is, right? Because if it was nothing to it, 
all the bootlickers that would be there getting big dollars, right? Instead, they have to go out and kidnap and use the most vulnerable of our society, which, you know, that qualifies them as the most dangerous in society, the most cowardly humans in society, particularly the Japanese society, that are allowing that to happen, that turn their backs on that, and that the government owns 50% of TEPCO anyway. And think about how TEPCO owned the ho big hospital in, in Tokyo, and all, everybody was getting turned away for cancer sickness, and that was fucking TEPCO. That was the government. The government created 5,000 models in Fukushima, and everyone told their own people in the first two months. 5,000 models, 96 a day of the air dispersants, the aerosols. And so if they're not going to tell their own people, do you think they care about the homeless? Right, but these stories will never go away. And they're sterilizing their own people anyway. They just don't care. They don't even try. They got the whole world here ready to go, try their best, put all of our institutions together, put them to work on this problem. 4,800 peer review academic studies every day locked away. If we can only harness that tomorrow for one single day, 4,800 peer review academic studies, professors, institutions, universities, with the support of their government and their communities behind them, could we not develop some of the technology necessary to deal with the issues that we now face? Isn't that the right thing to do? Wouldn't that be to, instead of taking the most vulnerable and guaranteed to make the problem worse? This is one of those problems where you get gangrene and you lose your leg. This is where we get gangrene and lose our continents, oceans, and the biodiversity, the flora, the flora, the habitat itself is in danger, very real present danger, to the point where they're using the homeless because they're not mad enough to do it and they won't let us, the world, have a peek and try to, try to come up with a solution. They just want to keep going down this path of self-destruction and I can't do that. I just can't sit here and let that happen. This is not a game. That ocean is St. Patty's Day every fucking day, 365 days a year, every year. And it ain't going to stop until you make that stand, until you use your voice. It's your voice that you got. You got to raise up millions of our voices. It's only then that the world becomes aware. And as the world becomes aware, they got no choice but to do the moral and ethical thing, hang themselves from poles and telephone poles, leave their bodies up there. That would be the right thing to do and allow the world community to come in and deal with it and just leave their bodies rotting there because that's what they deserve because they are the, the most despicable in our society and what they have done to the homeless in Fukushima. Hollywood can't make a movie like that. That's the, that's the, there is nothing in history compares to what they're doing. That's horrible and I apologize to their loved ones. And I lick, I lick my, my iPhone and make me feel better. I make me feel better every night. I don't wear it all the fucking time. Anyway, that's me, that's me being a goof tonight. It's a weird subject. I was trying to figure out how do I do a subject so fucking dark. And I still didn't convey what I really wanted to convey, what I felt all day. Because all of this information, I was trying to turn it into a little... Like a little video, a little presentation to put in my documentary, and it bugs me all day. And then Deborah sends me, Debbie sends me a link, and I was like, okay, that's what I'll do tonight, then fuck it. You awake already, Zoe? Well, wow. Zoe says goodnight. I say goodnight. I'll come in and read everybody's comments after. You guys were buzzing there. Woo! See you tomorrow night. We're here every night, five days a week now. On the weekends, we're popping out other types of videos, but we're still at it and support yourselves first right take care of yourselves get turmeric dandelion root tea look up the dca links below meet a bunch of people down below lots of different narratives if you don't know this stuff it's a good place to hang out we're honest we're just trying to get something real happen and stop the victimization of the homeless people and the demonizations of bananas worldwide because bananas are people too. And we'll catch you folks tomorrow night. Unless Google's going to keep me here and make me sign in again. 
Yeah, Google loves me. I never did like a quick good boy anyway. Come on, Google, you can do it. <laughs> I'm gonna lick my iPhone. My iPhone charger. Uh, uh, I'm gonna lick it. Yeah, it's gonna come back and hunt me. What are we gonna do tomorrow night? And who knows what's tomorrow gonna bring us? What kind of goodies are gonna come out between now and then? Nobody knows. Slow motion. See you tomorrow night, folks. Take care, right?